News 2's Hannah Powers spoke with local officials about the buzz in absentee voting. Saturday is election day in South Carolina, and all week Democratic candidates have been campaigning throughout the Low Country to try and win your vote. Joseph Debney, the director of elections in Charleston County, walked us through how to use the machines that you will be using to cast your vote. So that's it. You come up to the machine, you click your selection, you get a card, and you take the card to the scanner. That's right. And then there will be a digital and a print copy of whatever selections that you made. That's right. And we keep those. You don't actually walk out with anything other than an I voted sticker. I voted sticker. I love it. Just because the voting part is easy doesn't mean everyone does it. Sage Pacheco, who was waiting in line to cast his absentee vote Friday, says he wishes more young people voted. I feel like it's not important enough to a lot of people, um, especially younger. I mean, I'm, I'm only 26. I feel like not enough 20-somethings, you know, vote. And I feel like it's important to have our voices heard as well. It is important to have your voice heard. And for one woman in line, she's been waiting since 1968 to make that a reality. For Britt McDermott, this is her first time voting in a U.S. election. It took me all these years to get ready to become a citizen, and which I did in 2017. And you have to be a citizen to vote. And while you do have to be a citizen to vote in the primary, you don't have to be a Democrat, and everyone is encouraged to exercise their civic duty. Polls will be open tomorrow from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and we have all of the polling locations over on CountOn2.com. Reporting in North Charleston, I'm Hannah Powers, CountOn2.